All right, so I'll give you two guesses, three guesses, and the first two are wrong as to where I'm at, at where I'm at. So obviously I'm in Calvillo, I'm in one of the Pueblos Magicos in Aguascalientes. Like I mentioned in the previous video, there are three Pueblos Magicos in the state of Aguascalientes. So I came to this one, they're all about an hour drive. Seemed like the nicest one to come to for my purposes. Uh, the others were kind of religious centered. This one was more shopping centered, the tour guide said. I'm not too much into shopping, but has a nice center and I thought it'd be nice to check out. So apparently one of the things to do in this town is to get ice cream. A very famous Nieves del Popo. And so right in front of us, we have a couple guys which we'll go get to start off our trip to Calvillo. Where's that? Is? ¿Qué sabores tienen? Mango, coco, vainilla y maíz. Jugo de coco. ¿Está grabando? Sí. ¿Le puedo hacer una pregunta? ¿Qué son las nieves del popo? He escuchado, me contaron en Aguas Calientes. El popo es el, <coughs> el volcán que estaba en, el, en cerca de México, el Popocatepe. Antes, Son tipis, típicos de aquí. Antes tenía cierta parte de hielo y ahorita es puro. puro ¿no? Antes estaba más bonito que ahora, ¿no? Siempre está puesto nieve y hielo. Pero el popo es, es un estilo de nieve. Es como la Pepsi, la Coca, la Fanta. Oh, ok. Marcas. Marcas, ¿no? Y son típicos de aquí. Es su logo, ¿verdad? De sí, Calvillo. Sí, 42 años de nieve. ¿no? Mi papá duró 55 años. Yo le di 38. Haciendo esto. ¿no? Bien. ¿Puro coco? Sí, por favor. Y todavía trabajamos como antes. No máquina, no, no máquina, no química, no ciencias. Puro natural. Bien, mejor. Ya se acabó todo eso. De mil uno o ni uno. A trabajar. Sí. ¿Cuánto es? 12 pesos. ¿Para qué es una grabación? De todo, amigo. De todo, algún problema. No traes dos pesos, son. O dos. Un video en YouTube. Oh, sí. Oh, gracias. Suerte. Chido. A usted. Gracias. Ánimo. Adiós. Okay. 99% of the time, I'm good at understanding Spanish. <laughs> I swear. That guy, I did not understand too well at all. Uh, I'll re listen to it on the video uh, when I'm doing the editing. And I like how this mask looks. <laughs> But, let me see if I can sit in the sun. <coughs> so I'm not coming off dark in the videos. But I like how this mask looks, but it obviously doesn't fit too well. So, but I'll look in the editing. Try to turn the volume up. Give you guys the best translation that I can for what that guy was saying. So I, from what I understood, he was saying that it was like a brand. I understood the Pepsi and Coca-Cola, so maybe that was that was why. Uh, so I guess El Popo is a brand of ice cream that they make. He went into some explanation of snow in some part of Mexico. Anyway, I'll have to look on the editing. But I guess let me put it here, do the taste test, see if it meets the expectations. And so I got uh, coconut. I 
Very good, very good. And then they also throw uh, jam on top, which is good. So anyway, I'm gonna have my nieve el popo, and then we'll take a look at the city. See you guys in a second. Okay, so I think one of the main draws of this town is this main square here. Right now we're gonna go back into the church into the church, which is right back in the end here. I'm gonna turn the camera back up from eating my ice cream. And I like these how these masks look a lot better than my other one, but my other one fits better, but it doesn't look as good. So anyway, I'm in a bit of a bind there. Maybe I could stuff it up under my glasses. But yeah, it's a really nice square. Uh, but I think kind of what's more, some of the more interesting stuff in the town are these back streets. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up into the church here, take a look, and then we'll go on the back streets, see what there is around Calvillo. Okay, so I have to say that I think that when the whatever organizing body was naming Pueblos Magicos and Aguas Calientes, that here in Calvillo they were reaching a little bit. It's not a bad town, it's not an ugly town, but I think the reason that they named it the Pueblo Magico is that it has a very nice uh, center, main square, and that they do. But outside of that, it's pretty much just like any Mexican town. So we're just coming up on the main square right now, and usually in any Pueblo Magico, this would still be very Pueblo Magico-ish, e, <laughs> very much like a traditional Mexican town. And uh, it's nice to come to. Hola. Hola. Hey, you can see the people are super friendly, really very friendly as always. And it does have a nice square and the church was very beautiful, as you saw. But Pueblo Magico, I don't know. I'm not sure. But it was a nice trip out from Aguas Calientes. Come check out this town here in the state of Aguas Calientes. And tomorrow I'm going to be off to Zacatecas. I'll be in Zacatecas for three nights. Then I'll head back to Guadalajara. Start making videos around Guadalajara again for you guys. 
So anyway, I think that that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video of Calvillo, even though it didn't exactly meet my expectations for a Pueblo Magico. Let me know if what you think. If you've been, have you, from the video, did, would you consider this a Pueblo Magico? What are your thoughts? I might get some blowback for disparaging Caldillo a little bit, but I'm not. I'm just saying that it didn't exactly meet my expectations for a magical town. But anyway, it's been a nice time. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.